Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today I have another Timu haul to share with you. I love Timu. I can't get enough of it. They have such a variety on that website. The only thing I want to say is if you go on there often and you purchase specific things, it just keeps recommending that type of item. Do you know what I mean? Or that category. So you really have to do different searches for things, go under all the different categories because they will basically keep recommending the same sort of items to you. I mean, at least that's my experience. So I always see, you know, journaling stuff or paper type items. I see jewelry on mine. So you really have to get out there on the, the app or the website and search for specific things. So the first item I wanna share with you guys is this acrylic hair container. It's, or hair tie container. <laughs> Not a hair container you guys but you put all your scrunchies in here and it has like this opening in the front so you can just grab whichever one you want to use it has this little lid on the top that you can just take off and put back on when you are loading the scrunchies into here so i'm probably going to put this in our school store and if one of the kids want to buy it they can um something else i picked up from timu now I am collecting stuff for junk journaling and I saw these really cool anime cards. I thought that they were really cute. It came in this little pack here. This was $2.48 as well. I want to say is there 40 pieces, but they're just, they're really, really cute. So if you know anybody that likes anime, these would be perfect to give to them as a gift. You could craft with them anything they're pretty cute though so i went ahead and picked these up i'm constantly doing my nails so i thought having one of these nail cutters or trimmers would be cool it is like a rounded tip and it comes with this piece that you attach to the front of it here it also comes with this plastic casing so when you clip it it goes into this case so you can throw it away so that you know nails aren't flying everywhere but this actually you can change the width of how round you want the actual nail to be they had this in white black and pink this was two dollars and eight cents it is a you know kind of a, a cheapy plastic it is kind of on the thicker side but you can tell it's cheap um, but I'm pretty sure this will work. I'll have to do certain things in reviews so that you guys know what works and what doesn't, but I went ahead and grabbed that. Something else that I just started is embroidery. Now I'm not good at it. You guys, I literally picked up a pack of the beginner kits from the Dollar Tree and I've started with that. My mom kind of showed me how to start it off and what the different stitches are. And so I've been trying to venture into embroidery. So I went ahead and picked up this little, I don't know, this isn't quite a thimble, I don't think, because it doesn't cover the whole finger, but it has an opening on the back and, or on the front, I'm sorry. How do you, I think you do it like this. So then you compress the, the needle through here so it doesn't hurt your finger and it just loops around the back side of it there this was only 69 cents i believe they had different finishes but i went ahead and picked up like the antique looking one so i think that that's pretty cool another thing i picked up is this set of bookmarks now you can use these for bookmarks you can use them for scrapbooking paper crafting if you know somebody that loves reading if you know somebody that loves books if I mean anything well reading and books would be pretty much the same thing right but you can gift these you can split them up and just gift them I thought that they were really cute they're like a mushroom theme they look pretty vintage they are on a thicker cardstock these were a dollar 98 and I'm not sure how many come in a pack I'll put pictures up so that you guys can see on their website what they are Sometimes when I'm holding the items up, you don't really see it very well. So I want to make sure that you guys can get a good look at what I'm purchasing. I picked up another set of bookmarks. I thought these were really cute. And I know that the girls, even my son will love this. It's $1.79. This is the container that it came in. It's just in a little box. It does have, these bookmarks are a little different because they have like a ruler on them. How do I open this without ruining the box? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Here we go. But these have little animals on them. They look like they're all different style bunnies. They are 
so cute oh my gosh this one is my favorite let me show well i don't know if it's my favorite because i haven't looked through the whole pack but look how cute this is so it has like a little ruler at the bottom but there's one i have quite a few in here and there's a lot of variety to it so i'll make sure to put a picture here so you guys can see it better I want to apologize for my lighting. Anytime I hold the paper in front of the camera and then go back to, you know, like this without the paper, um, it turns like a brownish color. So it's trying to like find the right tone. It's weird. I don't know. So the lighting gets weird on the camera. So I want to apologize for that ahead of time. So again, that was $1.79. I don't know about you guys, but our kids, my kids, my nieces, they all love fidgets. And I know as adults, those can be really helpful as well if you like to be, you know, moving your hands around while you're watching something or I don't know, anything, listening to music, just to kind of calm you. Fidgets are really cool to have. I saw this one, I thought it was pretty different. They're called magnetic rings. They come with three, they were $2.98. And so what they're supposed to do is you're supposed to be able to like, just move them around in your hand like this. And so I thought that that would be cool because the kids, when they're doing school, they like to be fidgeting with their fingers and they usually have like slime and putty and poppets and stuff like that. And I just thought that this one was kind of different. So they are magnetic and I just figured that they could have fun with these. They're a little bit different than what they're used to playing with. So I went ahead and picked up four packs of these for the kids for school. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes our zippers fall off of like our sweatshirts and we don't have replacements. I found these on Timu. They come in a pack of five and I thought that these would be cool to have on hand for those times that, you know, the zippers fall off and we lose them. A pack of five is only 88 cents. They had silver, gold, and I want to say black maybe. So it has like a little um button that you push that opens up the smaller side and that's how you attach it to where it's supposed to go where your zipper fell off and then it has this little clip if you want it but you just grab it and you get to zip up your sweater again i thought that these were kind of cool to have um just like in my sewing kit just in case we lose a zipper you know on one of the kids sweatshirts um, but this was only 88 cents, so I thought that that was kind of cool, and I wanted to share it with you guys, because that's something cool to have just in the house, just in case. Now, a while ago, I purchased a game box, which is similar to a Game Boy, and my kids loved it. And so I wanted to get my daughter one. I went ahead and gave the black one to my son and I picked up this white one for my daughter. It's basically the same. It comes with this, it comes with the cords if you wanna connect it to a TV, if these are the types of plugs you have. And then it has this cord that you just connect to the actual um, game and then you connect the other end to like a power plug to charge it. And this comes with 400 games like Mario Brothers, Super Mario 3, Donkey Kong, Tetris, has like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on there, has like Chip and Dale. Now some of the games are in Chinese, but you can still definitely play them. Um, but these are really cool. I even have fun playing it. The only thing this one didn't have is the remote, but I, pl I uh, paid less for this one. This one was $8.58 totally worth the money you guys perfect for car rides really cool so i went ahead and picked that up something else i was really excited to see on there are these stencils and they are faith-based stencils they come with two three four five six seven eight nine yeah it comes with nine and so they have seven of these smaller ones and they have a hole in the corner to where you can attach this little hook. So if you lose one of these or you don't get one in your pack and you want to use these on stencils, you can always poke your or punch your own holes into your stencils and pick these up from the Dollar Tree and you can use them to hold stuff. We use these all the time in our homeschool room. 
Also, it came with these two larger stencils, this cross that says Believe and this floral cross. I thought that these would be really fun to use in my craft room. Um, but they say Jesus, Forgiven, Faith, Family, Love, Hope, and Blessed. So I thought that those were really cool and they are in cursive or script. So I thought that that would be really pretty. Oh, something I didn't share with you guys, I had another pack of the bookmarks, but this is a butterfly print on here. All different butterfly prints actually. I love butterflies. They're just so pretty. We've actually bought one of those um, butterfly farms that you actually like raise the butterflies and then you let them go. That was such a cool experience. But I just thought that these were really pretty. I could divide them up between everybody for school if they want some. I could use them in my craft room. I'll give some to my mom. I don't know. Super pretty. And these were, I want to say that these were the same as the mushroom ones. So $1.98 for those. The next few items that I'm going to share, I picked up quite a bit of them. It's going to be summertime. You're going to be wearing tank tops and bathing suits and stuff like that. And I just thought that these would be super cute to wear. I got all different styles. The first one I have here is like a twisted um, arm cuff and it's in gold. This was only $1.29. I thought it was super cute, pretty dainty, not too much. So I picked up that one. The next one I have here is like a chain arm cuff and it's also in gold. It was $1.68. So it has the two different chains and I thought that that is so pretty. So they'll kind of hang on the arm. That'll be kind of different. The next one I picked up is also an arm cuff. I have two more after this. So this one's also in gold, but it has the hard band and then it has the chain that's gonna sit underneath of it on your arm. I thought this one was really, really cute. Um, so if you're into stuff like this, they have great ones on the website. It was only $1.99. And then the next one, this is more in like a blackish silver color. It's pretty plain. It has the pressed ends and this was $1.48. So I thought this one was kind of fun and different. And then the last one I want to share was only 98 cents. And it's this one here, also in gold. But I thought that these were so cute. So I went ahead and grabbed all of those. You know, we have girls in the family, so if they want them, they can definitely have them. So going along the same lines with the jewelry, I went ahead and picked up two more packs of rings. I picked up the gold plated pack of rings and this one was $1.19. So I went ahead and picked up this one as well. And this one comes with, I think 10. All right, so this I thought was pretty cute. It's like a pack of tiny little cards, not cards, papers, but these are, I don't even know what they're called. Do they have a thing on here? No, but I thought that these would be really cute in junk journaling. They have just different little tiny pieces of papers that you can hide in little pockets or you can use them as ephemera, like rip them up and use them as ephemera in your little journals. I thought this would be cute for a kid's journal. If you were gonna be working on a kid's journal, I think that they would enjoy these little pictures. There are some pages in here in the center that are printed on like a see-through type of paper. I forget what they're called, um, but I just thought this was so cute. There's so many of them. Look at how cute this one is. So I went ahead and grabbed this because I thought I'd have fun using that in my junk journals. All right, so I have nieces that love horses. And this was 98 cents for a pack of horse stickers. <laughs> you know me and my stickers. Now she is junk journaling along with me, so I thought that these would be really fun for her to use in her junk journal. So, uh-oh. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of them. I thought that they would be fun for her to use in her junk journal. So I went ahead and picked this up. Again, it was only 98 cents, which I thought was a really great deal. All right, so I saw these 
And the kids sometimes like draw on their hands and stuff with black markers and all kinds of crazy stuff. But this was only $3.48. And it's a pack of tattoos. And I just thought that these were cute because they look like they're for older kids. They're not like the little cartoon ones. They have like flowers in here and they just looked a little bit more mature. So I went ahead and picked these up for the girls to kind of play around with if they wanted to put little tattoos on. The next thing I went ahead and grabbed, I only picked this up because it has like boba in it and I wanted to have these for my junk journal. I went ahead and picked this up because I really like the bobo, what, the boba drinks in here. I thought that they were super cute, but they are shoe charms. So if you have Crocs, you can definitely use these on your Crocs and you could use these for crafting for whatever you want. Um, I also went ahead and picked up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. I thought that these were so cute. They bring me back to when I was a kid because I used to watch these. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I thought I could put those in my 80s journal whenever I get around to it. I also went ahead and picked up this wax paper. It's the rose print. I just thought this was so pretty. I've had it in my cart for quite a while now. I paid, where did I write the price? I think down here, 318 for it. It is wax paper and there's 50 sheets, but this is what it looks like. I thought this would look so cute while I'm crafting, super cute. I mean, even if you're the type that likes to prepare lunches and meals and stuff and make them cute for your kids or grandkids when they come over, you can make little sandwiches and wrap them up in this and go on picnics or if you wanna have like a romantic picnic with your husband or boyfriend, you can definitely use these for your picnic. That would just, you know, take it up a notch. I think that those are so cute. They had all different styles, but I've really been wanting the rose one. Now I saw this and I really wanted to get it because I just thought it was so pretty. It's on canvas and I just loved it, you guys. How, what do you guys think? I love how it shows the reflection. He's just so beautiful. I love lions and tigers and this just represents God for me. So that is the main reason I got it because the representation of it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to hang it up somewhere, if I'm going to use it for crafting. They do sell the magnetic frame, uh, magnetic frames on Timu for a really reasonable price. And it's sometimes hard to find the right size frames for these items, these canvas. So I think that those actually fit these. So if you're looking for something for a canvas that's like a 12 by 8 or something like that, I think this is 12 by 8. It's something close to that, maybe 11 by 8. You can find it on Timu, and they have like four different finishes for it. So I thought that that was really pretty. I wanted to grab it. Something else I wanted to grab are these really pretty post-its. These were 98 cents. I thought that these would be cool to use for journaling. You could use these pretty much for anything, but they, oh, they're the same print. I did not know that these were the same print. I thought each sheet had like a different style or a different design. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, but they are still really pretty. They were only 98 cents, so I still really like them. You can still write notes and stuff on these. I don't know how well you'll see them. Maybe if you write it with like a black marker or something like that, but these are really pretty and you could really junk journal. If you do like mass journaling where you're making a lot, you can use these. You can use them for scrapbooks. I think they're pretty so I picked them up they look like little painting I wanted to share these were four dollars and 88 cents and it's another pack of stencils but these are flower stencils and I just thought that they were so pretty so I love this they have birds different flowers here I wonder if I can I'm gonna hold them up in front of my paper so you guys can see them better so pretty so you could use these for stenciling any type of craft you guys that you can stencil with these would be awesome if you have kids that love art they can definitely use these if you guys do like painting and stuff like that 
I just thought that they were so nice. And I think that that's actually a good deal. $4.88 for all of these. So pretty. If you guys do like nature walks and nature, nature, <laughs> I can't talk, nature journaling, super pretty. So I really like those. And again, remember, if you guys get these, you can totally punch a hole out in the corner and use one of those rings to put these. I think I'm going to do something different with these, but I have to see if they'll fit. I don't know if my idea in my head is going to work out with these, but I went ahead and picked these up. And again, they were $4.88. And there are, I think like 10 or 12, but a lot of them. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to share, these are, this is a set of masking sticker tape. It was $1.78. It comes in this little like envelope and it has all of these different colors here, but there's dots, there's squares, there's rectangles that you can poke out, punch out, take off, but it's stickers. So I thought that I could use these for something. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use them for you guys, but I just thought that they were kind of cool because it's masking tape and they're different shapes. So I thought that that would be kind of fun. Maybe if you have a kid and you're working on shapes with them, you can always, this may be a little hard for them to peel off, but it may work to where you're working on circles or something with them and you have them peel all the circles off and maybe you have a note book that has like a circle that you draw on it and then they have to put all the circle stickers inside the circle in the notepad and then the next page you could do squares and then have them peel off all the squares and put inside the square I don't know something like that may be helpful like you know motor skills and teaching them what shapes are what but that's it you guys thank you so much for hanging out don't forget to leave me a comment down below I love to hear from you guys also, if you've never shopped Timu, make sure you guys check out their website. They have some great deals. Shipping is mostly free all the time. I think that they have a minimum of how much you have to spend to get free shipping, but it's really reasonable. If you've never shopped Timu before, make sure you check out my affiliate link down below. It'll get you 30% off of your first order. I do want to let you know I make a little commission off of whatever you spend on the app for the first time. But with all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it, and I feel blessed when you stop by my channel and decide to spend some time with me, especially when every day is so busy. But that's it. You guys, be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one.